Welcome back to News One Now on TV One. More with our conversation with Grammy-winning singer Chrisette Michelle. When leading up to it, you, I mean, I mean, it's it's consistent. People are going, people are going at you. Then you perform. What happens after? Did you did you lose any gigs? Did you uh, get cancellations? Did you see of gigs you had? Ticket sales drop off. What was your life life like after performing at the inauguration? Sure. So I had just come off a 32 city tour, and right after uh, the inauguration, I had um, a tour that my management team and I put together. So I kind of hired myself to perform. So I couldn't cancel me on my own tour. Um, and people, the, the confusing part of, of all of it for me as just a human being was that people were still at the shows, people were still singing the music, people were still cheering and, and standing. And so, you know, there was this, you know, I see the internet and I see people at shows. I'm still on this musical tour and I'm still performing my music. So, you know, how do I address this uh, pain that people are feeling? And so I said things at my shows. Do you know what I mean? I addressed it um, when I saw people face to face, you know, on meet and greet lines and autograph signings and things like that. Um, but it was it was very confusing for me to watch um, be celebrated on stage and then be berated on on the internet. So so have you been negatively impacted uh, in your career financially as a result of this decision? I mean, we I mean, you, you look at um, um, there are reports out there how Steve Harvey has been impacted with mm. television show, a radio show, and uh, and and he said one of the worst decisions he's ever made to meet with Trump. Mm -hmm. um, at Trump Tower before before the inauguration. Yeah, well, again, I hired myself for the events, so I, I wasn't negatively impacted financially. It was more about not being able to have said what I wanted to say, not being able to have impacted the fans in the way that I wanted. That's the loss for me. The loss for me is I didn't get my point across, and the loss for me is that I hurt people, and the loss for me is that you know I didn't do what I intended to do. If you go somewhere and you t intend to heal and then you break instead, that's a loss. And so that was the loss for me. And again, for that, I apologize. I, I didn't want to offend people. That wasn't my intention. When you see the reaction mm -hmm. uh, on social media, mm -hmm. I mean, it's visceral. Yeah. It's, it's vicious. Mm -hmm. um, and do you think you could ever make amends? I think that people are inherently good. Do you know what I mean? That's just something I believe. I don't want to stop believing that. I don't want to hate people back. I don't want to be mean back. Do you know what I mean? Because I think that people are inherently good, and I think that there's work to be done. Um, but there was a point where I couldn't look at all of that stuff because it, it drove me to my lowest point. I've, I've never been so low, um, and so looking at that brought me lower. And for my own health as a human, as a person um, who has to live an actual life, has to go to the grocery store every day, I couldn't make it so that I can't get out of bed each day. I can't make it. And the stress of all of that was too much for me to look at. So trying to address what I couldn't even, you know, t absorb, um, it was just one of those things where it's too soon. It took a long time for me to heal. Nine months is perspective, in pers with different perspective is a long time for some, a short time for others. I know that there are people who would never, you know, come out of the depression that I was in. Um, but it took a while for me to heal, and, and now that I that I feel better about me as a person, um, I'm able to, to come out and, and speak, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Well, then all of a sudden, your record label drops you, mm -hmm. and you posted something on Instagram, on Twitter as well. You were stunned by it. You, mm -hmm. you had no warning? No warning, and it literally happened after the healing. So you go through all of this, you have this miscarriage, you have all this anxiety, all these things happen to your body physically and your emotions, and you come out of that and you go record an album and you do that therapy and then you say here's here, here's the album and then they drop you so it was one of those moments where you finally got to the end point you're feeling better and then somebody says no not yet um, so that's that was the shock there um, it, so did they give you a reason I mean do, do you think did, did you get dropped because they felt uh, that your brand was tarnished by performing for Trump and your fans uh, wouldn't buy your album? I mean, nobody's going to put that in writing. Do you know what I mean? I would imagine that's why. I think that's why. So have they offered you a reason why you got dropped? No. So, I mean, how, how does that work? I mean, just what? Sure. That's it? It's over? 
Sure, so I have a record label. Um, it's called RH. And my record label was signed to another label for distribution. So... Um, what, what company? Capital Records. Okay. And so when you go out to distribute your album, um, Capital Records puts that album out. Um, that's how that works. When they pull back that distribution, and, and it, it's legal for a label to drop an artist. It's not like they did something illegal. They did something painful. Um, they had the first, they had the right to take on or not take on the next album, and they chose not to. Um, that's never happened to me before. Phone call, letter, I mean, how did they tell you? Email. An email. Mm -hmm. And it was just simply, we're not moving forward. Literally. Like, I don't know how, you, I don't know if you, that's literally what it was. And it was painful. Um, and it's people who you've worked with, do you know what I mean? And I'm sure it wasn't in... How long, how long had, had you worked with them? About two years. Yeah, since since I had been on a reality show, my my label had gotten signed, we, you know, show that on on television. That happened about the TV one reality show. Yeah, got it. About about two and a half years ago, um, so. Uh, hold tight one second. I'm gonna go to a break. We come back. I want to talk more about this, uh, and also talk about as you said, going through uh, that depression, how it affected your health, and where do you go now? Sure. So that's next. News one now. TV One, more about conversation with Chrisette Michelle.